Hi guys, I made this solar filter for my telescope and in this video I will show you how to make this solar filter. You know it is very difficult to look at the sun with our naked eyes and looking at the sun with a telescope where everything is magnified can be very dangerous. So if you are thinking observing the sun with your telescope, your first concern should always be eye safety. Even a quick look at the sun can lead to a significant eye damage. Galileo, who is known as the father of observational astronomy, also suffered the consequences of directly looking at the sun. Around 400 years ago, to study the sunspots, Galileo used to look at the sun with his telescope without using any filters, which initially caused significant damage to his eyes and later he permanently lost his eyesight. Initially he suffered from partial blindness and eventually over the years he went completely blind. That's why to look at the sun through your telescope you need a solar filter. So let's see how you can make a solar filter at home. To make a solar filter the most important thing you need is barter film. This barter film blocks 99.9% .9 of the sun's powerful rays, which allows you to capture the details of the sun like the sunspots and the granular composition. The second thing you will need is the cardboard and some thick paper sheets. Now while making this filter, you don't want to make the size of the filter as big as the aperture of your telescope. The sun is very large and a filter that is smaller than the aperture will be sufficient. As I wanted to make solar filters for both my telescopes, StarSense and Nexstar 8SC, so I bought a bigger sized barter film. First, cut two larger cardboard pieces bigger than the aperture of your telescope. I used the aperture cover to draw a circle as a guide. I wanted the filter to be smaller than the whole aperture so I knew how much bigger to make it. My telescope has a small aperture cover so I made the filter a slightly bigger than that. Instead of cutting it into a circle, I made it a square because it's easier to cut the cardboard and the filter sheet into squares. Then take the square shape and use it as a template to cut out another square from the second cardboard sheet. Next, cut a paper sheet. This paper sheet will hold your filter securely around your telescope. Measure the distance from the outside of the aperture to how far depth you want it to go. I chose around 10 cm. At 10 cm, my telescope has a red dot finder. Cut the paper sheet accordingly. Wrap that part around outer edge of your telescope tube and then glue it down. Make it slightly bigger than the telescope's circumference so it's easy to put on and take it off. Now we need to attach the circular sheet to the cardboard. Place it on the cardboard and draw a circle of the same size. The circular paper will hold the solar filter all the time, so it needs to be fixed firmly to the cardboard. Carefully make grooves on the circle for the paper sheet to fit into. Then fit the circular paper into groove and check for any adjustments needed. Next. Measure the length of your square hole and cut the barter film slightly bigger than that. Be careful not to damage the film while cutting. Make sure the darker or the black side of the film faces the telescope and the silver side faces the sun. Glue the barter film onto the cardboard sheet. Now stack the second cardboard sheet onto the first one and your solar filter is almost ready. The last step is to fix the circular paper sheet with the filter. Put the glue in the circular groove we made on the cardboard sheet. 
and attach the paper sheet with the filter. Let it dry for a couple of hours and your filter is ready to use. I used the same method and made a similar solar filter for my Nexstar 8SE telescope. Now before connecting it to the telescope, first check whether your solar filter has any leaks. So just hold the solar filter in front of your eyes and look at the sun. You will see if there are any leaks or not. Fix the filter on the aperture of your telescope. Now you have to point your telescope at the sun so that it is visible through the eyepiece. Usually during the night session we point the red dot finder at the object and then they are visible in the eyepiece. But during the day looking at the sun through a red dot finder is just impossible. Even if you manage to do that you won't see the red dot because of the brightness of the sun. So with the help of this hair band I wrapped a small piece of barter film around the red dot finder. Now you can clearly see the sun as well as red dot in the red dot finder. Now point the red dot on the sun and you can normally use your telescope as you use it during the night session. Before looking at the sun through the eyepiece, you should make sure that the sun is in the field of view with the help of your phone camera or a DSLR camera. Once you are sure that everything is safe, only then look through the eyepiece. And the best thing you can do is not to look at the sun through the eyepiece at all. Just use your phone or DSLR cameras to look at the sun. This is how sun looks through this solar filter with Starsense telescope. It is a simple solar filter that will show you the disk of the sun and you can see those sunspots. The visible portion of the sun is photosphere. It has a temperature of about 5500 degrees. However, these sunspots are cooler than the surrounding temperature. Their temperature varies from 3000 to 4000 degrees. That's why these sunspots appear darker. Now how many sunspots you can see depends upon the solar cycle. The solar cycle is 11 years long. When there is a solar minimum in the solar cycle, you will see very few sunspots. And when there is a solar maximum in the solar cycle, you will see more sunspots. The current solar cycle started in 2019 and it will end in 2030. As you can see from this graph, right now we are just heading to the peak of the solar cycle and this peak will last till mid of the year 2026. So in the next two years, you will be able to see most of these sunspots on the sun. These sunspots are as big as earth and some of these sunspots also have a presence of water vapors. This is a simple solar filter. With more advanced filters like H-alpha filter, you can see more details of the sun. After the use of this filter, keep the filter in safe place and before using it again during the next session, always check whether the filter is in good condition and all the glued parts are still intact. Also check if there is any leaks in the filter before every session. This way you can be sure that there are no accidents. And that's it. This is how you make a solar filter for your telescope at home. I have mentioned the link to the solar film in the description. Again, be extremely careful while looking at the sun. A small mistake can cause you to permanently damage your eyes. So if you found this video helpful, then give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.